You wanna film the review today, Sir Fitzroy? Huh? Let me get you your, let me get you what you're reviewing, huh? Here you go. <laughs> what do you have to say about your, your costume, huh? What do you have to say? Do you like it? Do you like it? Do you like being best boy, Ren Goku? Hey guys, it's Fox. I'm here today with a review video. Um, I didn't do my makeup all fancy or anything because as most of you know, wearing a makeup with a mask is not the most fun and we have to step out somewhere after this. So I apologize that you have to look at all of this. But with Halloween season coming up, a lot of cosplay sites are reaching out to creators and sending them costumes and things like that just for reviews because you know, everyone's kind of looking for stuff. And I was lucky enough to be contacted by Roll Cosplay. Um, I will put their link in the description as well as the link to this costume as well as um, an affiliate link that they sent me Which just means that if you use that link to do your shopping I get a small commission which really helps out this channel and helps me pay rent <laughs> They sent me a Demon Slayer costume specifically Ren Goku now um, for those of you that don't follow me on any other social media uh, Cosplay Away and I have been obsessed with Demon Slayer. We binged it all. We watched the movie. <laughs> we watched a really bad, like, handheld recording of the movie in Japanese first, and then we saw the movie like twice when it came out. Um, and it's one of my favorite movies, like, animation movies of all time currently. I just love it so much. Uh, and I love my best boy, Ren Goku. Uh, so when they offered to send me a costume, um, I jumped on that. Uh, also, if you don't know, Cosplay Away and I have cosplayed Demon Slayer already. Um, quite a lot of them. Um, I've done Inosuke, Zenitsu, and I have the stuff for Giyu. She has done Tanjiro, and she's finishing up Shinobu. And now I have Rengoku. So, um, I've wanted to cosplay Rengoku for a while. I loved his design from the beginning, and I'm very excited to show you what I've got. Um, I might reference, um, the other Demon Slayer cosplays we have, because our uniform and some of our um, Hiori's are not from Roll Cosplay, but um, I'm not gonna drop names just because it's not super relevant. It's just easy to compare little details that I think might be important to know with this costume. So to start, right now this costume is like $38, uh, which is crazy. It's originally like 160 something. Um, and then it was on sale when they sent it to me and now it's on sale again and it's like $37, which is incredible. Um, and I think that if you're interested in one of their Demon Slayer costumes to jump on it because um, it's actually pretty damn good quality. Um, there are a few things that I don't love, which I will talk to you about, but it's nothing that makes it a, uh, like a make or break deal with this costume. In fact, I would be able to wear this costume to a con. Um, pretty much right out of the bag, which is surprising. Um, just because a lot of times I have to alter things. There are things I would alter if I had the time, but if I really needed to, I could just take this and wear it and deal with slight issues for a day or two. So Roll Cosplay is a cosplay selling site, obviously. Um, I've heard of them before. I have some friends who ordered stuff from them, specifically like Love Live stuff um, and like the gotcha game type of um, cosplays, which Roll Cosplay has a ton of. Um, specifically, they're getting in on all the Genshin Impact stuff, and um, yeah, but since I have done like a deep dive of their website the last time, which was maybe a year or two ago, it seems like they've really beefed up um, their product page. I see a lot of really relevant anime stuff. They have cosplay props, they have the wigs. Um, they do have a lot of like game stuff. Uh, they have stuff from the new Cruella movie, and just, excited to see that they've really beefed up what they, they're selling. They did send me this costume for free, um, but that's not gonna change my review. You guys know I'm gonna be honest no matter what. So to start, they do sell an Asian sizing, which is kind of a bummer. It's really hard for plus size cosplayers. Um, and I will say I had to order the largest size. So this is a 2XL, um, which I'm not like, the biggest cosplayer ever. Um, my height really is detrimental to me when I'm ordering sizes, um, cause I'm about six feet. So a lot of times I have to size up. I will say the pants on this were a little bit short um, still, but you know, um, for plus size cosplayers, it's, it's going to be very hard to order from this website. 
So let's just get into it. I have a little footage of me like standing in front of a mirror that I can show you, um, which will just show me in the different parts of the costume, but we will start with the main suit. Huh, I didn't notice that. So on the back of the suit, it looks almost like an iron-on. I don't know if you can even see it, let's see. But there's like little markings here. It's not easy to see, and it, I don't know if it's from the iron they used or what, but it's not, it's not a clean decal. I actually had no idea until just now in this lighting, so it's not really a huge deal to me. Again, they all wear their, their coats or the Hayoris or their capes over it, so again, not really a big deal to me, but definitely surprising, um, good to know. This is the top, I mean, it's the same top that's in every single Demon Slayer costume. I will say what's nice is they do have like a little button on the sleeve. I'm not entirely sure why. I guess just to make it a little bit tighter, it'll fold over. Um, it does have thin shoulder pads in it, which we love. Really beef you up there. Um, the binding is nice and clean. It's cleanly sewn. I have no issues with it whatsoever. Um, no issues with the lining. It's like a nice, I mean, lining fabric. This is probably my only slight issue is the little pocket they did. Um, it is a little wide for my taste um, and it does have some threads hanging off, but that's an incredibly easy fix if it's really deal breaking. It's not deal breaking for me. I will trim off all these threads. Um, I don't need it to be crazy, crazy thin. Um, and again, to some people that's not even an issue. It just, it looks a little wide to me. The other issue would just be that the buttonholes seem to be a little bit tiny. However, just from trying on the outfit, the buttonholes have stretched a little bit. Um, so it's already kind of fixing itself. So I'm actually pretty happy about that. I don't really have any issues other than like, it, it might be hard to get in and out of the seat right here, in and out of it for the first time. But again, that's just a quick fix. A little snip with a pair of scissors. Or to just keep trying until it stretches itself out, see if that works. Uh, I will say I love these sleeves. They are long enough for me, which is incredibly rare with costumes. Um, like I said, I'm almost six feet tall. Almost every cosplay costume I've ever bought has had sleeves that are too short, which is why I often don't buy costumes with the full sleeves. I usually only buy short sleeve costumes. Um, but these are super long. And in all honesty, I might swap my current Demon Slayer jacket for this one, if only because of the sleeves. Um, the quality of this one is nice. I do like it. I don't know if I'll change this pocket or not. Again, it's not a deal breaker for me. Um, especially with someone like Rengoku, um, where he has the cape that covers it most of the time. Anyway, moving on to the pants. This is the pants. This is the waistband. <laughs> it looks really tiny. It stretches to a pretty good amount. Um, I had to wiggle into them a little bit, uh, but it's got a good amount of floof to them. And where they tighten at the legs is really comfortable. My problem is that it's just a little bit too short. It really does tighten right under my knees, um, which is technically accurate, but like I would really love a little bit of wiggle room so that I wasn't like, when I bent my leg, my pants floof came flying up. But I will say there is pockets hidden in these, these pleats and man, that is great. Um, the last time I wore Zenitsu, we had to keep our wallets and phones in our like sleeves. Um, which worked and was fine, but having like actual pockets, I love, love, love when cosplay manufacturers include pockets and in things, um, because a lot of times they won't unless it's explicitly like in the design, but those that do, I appreciate you. I really, really do. But yeah, there was no real issue other than these pants being slightly too short. Um, and again, not everyone's going to have that problem because I'm six feet but it fit pretty well. It had a decent amount of floof. Then we have the belt, just plain white belt. It's great. It actually fits really nicely. Um, I think I put it on like the second hole, um, which is great because my current Demon Slayer belt, they were like, we don't know what size you are, so we're just gonna give you the biggest belt imaginable and you'll just have to like tuck it in, which again is fine. I'd rather have a bigger belt than a, small, than a too small belt. Um, 
but not only is this one fit really nicely, the it just has so many holes in it, so really, you can just size it however. Um, and I don't know if that means they send the same belt for every costume, which again, if they did, it'll fit. <laughs> but that's good quality, it's pretty, you know, pretty standard quality for a cosplay belt. Then we've got probably my biggest issue with this costume, and it's the little leg covers. Um, I have had a problem in the past, like with Zenitsu, um, where the leg covers were too tight. Um, and this is basically the problem here. Can you see that elastic? It's, it's pretty small. Um, it fits, but not, it's not a comfortable fit, and it's a little bit short, which most of my leg covers for Demon Slayer have arrived short because I have really long legs um, and so I don't really expect them to accommodate that. I usually just adjust it by, you know, making sure my pants, the floofy bit goes farther than my knee and then I put the, the cover on and it makes sense. But because of this costume, because it ends right under my knee, these have to be pulled up to right under my knee and then they're a little bit short. Um, that being said, they're pretty decent quality pretty standard um, I'm not entirely sure what I would call this fabric but it's it's not bad it's probably like a polyester um, and then there's a little back velcro for getting it um, on your leg which almost doesn't make sense because this is the top this elastic bit is the top and then this is the bottom with the with this I'm guessing it's so you can make it tighter if you need to but it's just a tiny square of Velcro, so you're not really making it that much tighter. Um, Cause like, if your foot was massive and for some reason couldn't get through this, it's not getting through the top then, because the top is only as wide as the bottom when stretched out. Sewn pretty much fine, the fabric's fine. I have no issues with it other than the fact that it's a little bit small, it's a little bit tight. Um, it's wearable, I will say that. Um, but I will probably go in and like snip the elastic um, or remake these just because I do have plans to kind of alter this costume. Not because it's not good in any way, but just because I wanted something that I could kind of jazz up for cosplaying Rengoku and having like a base piece like this is really helpful. Um, so yeah, these, these I wouldn't give full marks to just because they're, I mean, I don't have like, I don't have like tree trunks for legs. like. <laughs> These should fit. They should, but they don't. It just feels like these, these are probably one size fits all, which is fine. I, I assume most of the sites do that, but why, why this? Why is this your starting size, you know? Like I just wish it was bigger, like a bigger starting size and then it could stretch out more, but you know, can't win them all. And last but not least, the cape. <sighs> to start, there is no lining in the cape. Um, I didn't expect there to be. It is, it looks like it's all surged. Um, surged and then sewn, which is nice. It is basically the same fabric as the leg pieces. Um, the edges feel like they're, they're fray checked. So a heated knife would be my guess as to how they kind of stop this from fraying. Not really a problem, I'm fine with that. The gradient looks really nice. It's a nice subtle gradient from the white to the yellow. The flames look pretty, pretty damn good. I am very happy that I don't have to like make and cut out these by myself. <laughs> I have no real issue with the cape. It fits me really nicely. It, it's a nice balance of like being open enough to see the uniform, but still being close enough to be accurate. My only gripe about it is that the ties just look like a Grogane like um, ribbon uh, and the edges haven't been burned off or sewn or whatever. So I will have to take like a lighter to that. To be honest, well one, doing a lighter to that and then painting over the burn mark is an incredibly easy fix, it takes about five seconds. Um, but in reality, what I'll probably do is replace this with something a little stronger, probably like a clasp or like a hook and eye or something, just for my own taste. Um, but I like the length, um, which is good. I'm always worried about it being too short. I like the length, I like the fit. 
but yeah, I'm not mad about it. I like it. Um, I think it's pretty good. And I think for, you know, at max $40 currently, I would definitely recommend this costume. I don't think I would be happy if I paid 170 for it. Um, anything, honestly, if I, even if I paid like 100 for this, I think I would be okay with it. I would definitely give it like a B plus in terms of quality right now. Um, if you're talking about for $40, I would give it an A easily because $40 is nothing when it comes to cosplay pieces. Um, and the little details really do make it really nice, like the shoulder pads and the nice buttons and it's a pretty good costume. Um, like I said, I could wear it out right now if I really wanted to, um, but I have to be extra all the time apparently and make my life super difficult. But yeah, that's basically it. I hope you enjoyed this review. I hope it makes, you know, shopping at Roll cosplay a little bit easier. Like I said though, uh, if you're a plus size cosplayer, this probably isn't the website for you, which sucks. Um, I really do wish they had larger sizes, but if you're on the smaller side, I would definitely check out Roll Cosplay. Like I said, they gave me an affiliate link down below. They've been really, really nice. Their customer service has been very friendly, very talkative, very helpful, and they're very good with communication and, you know, getting this set up and figuring it out. Um, but yeah. Like I said, um, I think it's a pretty good costume, especially for the current price it's at. So if you're looking for a Demon Slayer costume, um, something basic or something where you just want the basic pieces and you want to like change it or alter it, then I would recommend Royal Cosplay. Um, I'm excited to see uh, some of their more expensive costumes. Like I said, I have friends that bought Love Live costumes from them and they always looked really nice. So. Um, Maybe in the future, I'll see what one of their more complicated costumes are like. But for now, I would recommend this Demon Slayer costume for people on budget um, or for, like I said, someone who wants to edit things. And yeah, I hope that helps. Um, I have another cosplay review coming up soon as well. And I'm thinking about maybe doing one on Demon Slayer wigs. We'll see. Um, but yeah, as always, guys, my name is Fox. Thank you in advance for liking, commenting, subscribing, checking out my Instagram, checking out my merch or not, whatever. Honestly, you do you. It's totally fine. Stay safe out there and remember that as always, I love you all very, very, very much and I'll see you all very soon. Bye guys.